gonna tell you about the top 10 richest college football programs in 2018 today. What do you mean you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the top 10 richest college football programs in 2018. If you'd like to see the top 25 richest college football programs in 2018, be sure to check out the live stream that I'm linking above. But first, we gotta get into Texas because Texas was stupid enough to schedule a home and home with Alabama. Now on the surface, this is awesome because it's got two blue blood programs facing each other in a home and home series, Austin and Tuscaloosa. And Alabama athletic director Greg Burns is happy about it. We're thrilled to be able to add another incredible non-conference opponent with the University of Texas for a home and home series. He did not say we're thrilled to welcome the cupcake that is Texas Longhorn football to a shellacking in the years 2022 and 2023. Now me personally, I think by then Texas coach Gary Patterson is gonna have the Longhorns perfectly well suited to face the Crimson Tide. Yes, that is a shot at Pee Wee Herman and the current state of Texas football because the Longhorns haven't had a 10 win season in 10 years. The last time Texas won 10 or more games was 2009 when they got destroyed in the BCS championship game against, surprise, surprise, Alabama. And now Texas is trying to say that it's back because Tom Herman managed to win one more game than he lost. Longhorns were seven and six last year and I put their ceiling at eight wins this season. Which leads me into the title of this video. Penn Live columnist Doug Jones combed through 2016-2017 fiscal year data for the US Department of Education to find out the gross revenue figures for the top 25 richest college football programs. He says yes, the bookkeeping may vary because of conference payouts and broadcasting rights, but this is really the closest thing we have to understand understanding how much each college football program is worth on a year-to-year -year basis. And some of the top 10 might surprise you. Some of the top 25 might surprise you. If you want to know about the top 25 again, check out the live stream from tonight. At number 10 is Florida State who pulled in $86.6 million for the 2016-2017 fiscal year, which dwarfs Clemson, who only pulled in around $51 million. In 2016, the Knowles went 10-3 and, and managed to pull in $38.2 million in profit. That's pretty good considering its annual expenses that year were $48 million. At number nine is Ohio State, who raked in $89.9 million. And it seems to spend almost as much as it makes, as its profit was only $3.3 .3 million that year. At number eight is the first SEC school on the list, and that's Auburn, who pulled in $91.7 million a year. Now, you might remember that year as the one in which Oklahoma destroyed Auburn in the Sugar Bowl, but they still had enough Auburn fans show up to games to pull in a football profit of $48.9 million. At number seven on the list is Georgia, who pulled in $93.3 million gross. And we can already see that Georgia is not shy about spending money as Kirby Smart just signed a seven year, $49 million contract, and we see that in their expenses. Georgia football spent $56.9 million in football expenses in a year where Georgia went eight and five and played in the Liberty Bowl. Number six on the list is Oklahoma. Sooners pulled in $95.9 million. And during this year, 2016-17 fiscal year, we won the last, we won our last 10 straight and continue a sellout streak at Memorial Stadium. Oklahoma turned a profit of $58 million. Joe C knows how to manage the money. And number five is Notre Dame, who raked in $96.8 million gross and cleared an astounding $63.6 million after expenses. That's in a year where Notre Dame went four and eight. Imagine what Notre Dame would be capable of making in years where they compete for national championships. Michigan is number four, raking in $105.9 million and clearing $59.6 million in profit, which makes them the richest college football program in the Big Ten. And number three is Alabama, who raked in $108.1 million and cleared $45.9 million in profit. But the money it spent on staff salaries and the program in general was $62.6 million, so we know where the money goes at Alabama. And number two is Tennessee, who raked in $110.7 million in the 2016-2017 fiscal year, which just seems flat out stupid for as little as the balls have done in the last 10 years. However, they also kept $78.1 million in profit during that same year. That makes Tennessee the richest college football program in the SEC. Raise your hand if you had Tennessee as the richest college football program in the SEC. Put 
your hand down. Don't lie to me. And at number one on the list is the University of Texas, who grossed $141.2 million and turned a profit of $97.9 million. You go to Texas, you print money. However, they expect you to print national championships too. And Tom Herman, get ready to leave. Gary Patterson, I think you're next up. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.